welcome to Angela's Institute Sims Lab. I'm Miss Christine and I have LVNs here. Christian. Sim. And we're going to go ahead and show you the proper procedure of installing and removing a Foley catheter. Remember, only licensed nurses could perform this procedure. And the point of this procedure is to go ahead and drain the bladder. So, Christian, what are the purposes on why we're doing other Foley catheters? There are many reasons for this. One is urinary incontinence, that's if you have leaking urine or if you're unable to control your bladder. Another reason is urinary retention, that's if you're unable to empty your bladder. Mm -hmm. It's also used if you have surgery on your prostate or your um, genitals. And for other medical conditions such as multiple sclerosis. Correct. As you can tell, there are different types of sizes and also material. You have to make sure that you talk to your patient to see that they have any kind of latex allergies. So Sam, tell us what we have here. So we have four different types of catheters here. The first one is a condom catheter for men with incontinence. The second one is a straight catheter to collect the sterile urine specimen. This one right here is a three-way catheter for irrigation, also used to instill medication or to clean out the bladder. This last one I have here is a Foley catheter, also known as the indwelling catheter. Um, this particular one stays in for a short or long period of time. As you can see, there are two important numbers to look for. The first one is the size of the catheter. The bigger the size, the thicker the tube. The second one is the amount of normal saline to insert to inflate the balloon. Correct. Now that we've introduced the different types of catheters, we're going to show you the procedure of sterile gloving. Now we're going to go ahead and demonstrate to you sterile gloving. We have Christian here, who's obviously washed his hands. How many minutes? One minute. Great. And also the overhead table is at his waist. So he's going to open it away from the body first. Now, with his dominant hand, he has to make sure that it's going to be inserted first. So, you have to make sure that you touch the inside of the glove so it doesn't contaminate. The purpose of sterile gloving is because we don't want to contaminate the Foley catheter. There you go. Not every time is going to be perfect, but that's okay. Because with your sterile right, you can go ahead and tuck your hand inside that cuff. Get your left hand in. Find that thumb and pull it towards you. And now he's sterile gloved. Good morning, Mr. Johnson. My name is Sim. I'll be your nurse today. Uh, is it okay if I check your wristband? Yeah. All right. Okay. Well, Mr. Johnson, you have an order for a Foley catheter today. Did you, did you urinate at all today? No. I've already okay. done this perineal care, so we're ready for the procedure. Of course the nurses have provided privacy. Now they're placing the patient in dorsal recumbent position, bending the knees. Please take note that the patient is at the level of the nurse's waist to keep the sterile field and also to make sure that the nurse is comfortable with proper body mechanics. Now upon doing the procedure, you have to make sure that you open the materials first before donning on the sterile gloves. Now that he's applying the sterile gloves, he's making sure that only sterile touches sterile. He's removing the Foley and installing the 10 milliliter syringe to make sure that it's patent and intact. There you go. Now you have to remove the 10 milliliters. Now he's preparing the sterile drain, making sure that the shiny part is down. Inside the box are contents, which is a lubrication. What he's going to be doing is applying it on the sterile drape and throwing it in the trash. Please take note that he did not put his hand underneath his waist to make it sterile. Now 
we use placing the box outside of the sterile drain. Upon preparation of cleaning, he has three different cleaning materials. First is the iodine, cleaning it from inner to outer. Second, the third one goes down the urethra. Now he's prepared to insert the Foley catheter. Please make sure that he does lubricate the tip. Mr. Johnson, I'm going to start inserting the catheter, okay? If you feel any pain or discomfort, you let me know. Now that he's instilling it, once the urine starts flowing, advance one to two inches with the left non-dominant hand now, hold the tube in place, and instill the 10 milliliters of normal saline. Once the 10 milliliters is in, go ahead and give it a tug to make sure that it's in place. Remove the syringe. and connect the drainage tube. Once connected, you can place the drainage bag onto the non-movable part of the bed, which includes the bed frame. Please take note, do not place it on the side rail. And that is how you insert a Foley catheter. Hello, Mr. Johnson. My name is Christian. I'm going to be your nurse today. I'm going to go ahead and just check your wristband real quick. Okay, so for today we have the order to remove your uh, indwelling catheter, and we're going to go ahead and do that now. Are you comfortable? Yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to pull down your blanket. right now is checking the amount of drainage, monitoring the color, and also anything else that's abnormal. And still in the empty 10 milliliter syringe, he is removing the normal saline out of the Foley so the balloon does inflate. Wrapping it around. Now that it's removed, the only important thing is to wrap it in the glove. And that's how you properly remove the polycatheter.